Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have another complexion review. Oh, oh! Wow, actually have the confetti and air horns that go with all of our, when my staff remembers, it's just me, when I remember, when my staff remembers, to put our confetti and air horns on all complexion videos. And this, I think, is a big one because, let me just tell you, this is the brand new Shiseido Revital Essence Skin Glow Foundation. We're going to look at it, we're going to try it on, we're going to demo it, and we're in the middle already of a wear test. It is lovely to have you here, and I would love to also have you join me over on Instagram and TikTok and Reds, all sorts of good stuff going on over there as well. But let's talk about what we have here today. I have never tried a Shiseido complexion product that I hadn't haven't loved. They are a favorite. And among those of us who love our foundations, they are a favorite. I've never tried a bad one from them. All the way from light to light medium to slightly fuller cover. They do it all with grace. This is a beautiful and one so far, and we're going to talk about it. We are currently two hours into a wear test, and I'm going to, I have some other check-ins coming up and a much longer one at the end after the demo. Okay, let's talk about this Shiseido Revital Essence Skin Glow Foundation. It is $56 and comes in 30 shades. You are seeing the shade I chose, which is 260 Cashmere, which I have worked with. I don't mind that it's brightening. It's a little bit too light. Why am I going too light on my foundation choices lately? Somebody tell me. It is a serum foundation, or as Shiseido calls it, a serum-like foundation. They don't want to commit to it being a serum foundation. It has no fragrance. Hooray! Hooray! Gotta love that if you're a migraine allergy sufferer or just someone like me who doesn't like fragrance next to your face. You can't get it off, right? Okay, this is a medium coverage. I disagree. I think it's very light medium, actually, but it can be built. So they're saying medium coverage. I'm saying light medium. One person's medium is another person's light medium perhaps. It is a radiant finish. It uh, has to be shaken up. They say it lasts for 12 hours. I'm going to try to go 10. Hopefully I can today, but offers 24-hour hydration. Now, here's one thing that some of you will not like. Hey, not everything can have everything. It does have an SPF 30 in it, um, and some of you are like, what, that's a great thing. Yeah, I, I prefer when they don't. It's generally in here, it's like chemical sunscreen, and then it's like, and then it, um, you know, when it breaks down in a few months, even though this actually goes 24 months before it goes bad, um, when that when that sunscreen can break down a little bit, I with me, I feel it causes blemishes. I like to do my own SPF thank you, but some of you don't. Anyway, it's an SPF 30. You know the common complaints. You're never going to put on enough of this to actually get SPF 30, hey, if you're trying to make it medium, maybe you will, because I think this is a very light medium, so I don't know. Um, but at any rate, that's the only flaw. It is extremely lightweight. Um, I'll show you here. When you got to shake it up, and when you put it on, it is going to drip, and I will show you that in the demo as well. So it doesn't have a, a fragrance, but it just does smell a bit sweet. Nothing cloying or gross, though, and nothing that would aggravate a migraine, I don't think. But of course, you're in charge of your own health please. Okay, a little earlier today, this is two hours in, a little earlier today, as you can see here, I uh, had one hour check-in. There's one hour without makeup on, and you can see how kind of, um, I hope it's showing that it is definitely skin glow. One thing I will say in the demo, but I'll repeat it here, I skipped any sort of a highlighter today because I didn't want to confuse it with the skin glow, and I'm curious if it's going to retain that glow. We're now two hours in. You just saw one hour. We're now two hours in, and I mean, I am still getting a nice reflection off of this, and then we're going to see what this looks like at the end of the day and do some check-ins in between, but right now I want to go to the demo, so stay right there. I am very sorry to be a bit of a broken record if you have spent much of your time here for complexion product reviews, but I have nothing on my face. I do have a little mascara on because I did another review before this and I washed off everything but that. But other than that, I have nothing on my face but some skincare that has been left alone for about 30 minutes. I am not going to wear primer, concealer, or setting spray, or anything like that 
over this because we want to know what this foundation is going to do when left to chill out all day long. If there's anything wrong, any creasing, any sinking into pores or lines, I want to know what caused it, right? Okay, so we need to shake up this foundation. You've already been introduced to it. And we are, in fact, in the middle of a wear test that you already saw. And then after this, you'll see the end of the wear test with a photo or two along the way. Okay, I have now shaken it up nicely and I am putting it on to my hand. It is very viscous. This is the shade 260 Cashmere. Let's put it on one side of my face and see how I did. Because I don't know, I'm kind of um, in a bit of a hurry to get on with this wear test to film this portion of it. So I haven't looked to see if the shade works for me. It is a very thin, it is running down my hand as we speak, and a nice radiance, really nice, kind of akin to um, the MAC radiance so far, if I were to just take a stab at this without knowing much. There is the one side of my face, as best I could do it. Very light coverage, but very pretty. I probably could have gone a bit deeper with the shade, but I don't think that's too bad. Let me compare it to my neck, what do you think? my hand, can do a little voguing. All right, um, very nice, very comfy, very lightweight. Definitely would be buildable, but boy, is this lightweight, but super duper comfy and uh, very pretty. Okay, where did I put it here? All right, I am gonna shake it up again and then do the other side of the face and I'll speed that up so I don't lose you. Such a hurry to get this wear test going. Okay, so remember, I have nothing on my face at all. So there's nothing that would provide any radiance. Any radiance that you see is belonging to solely to the foundation. And I kind of made a little decision while I was putting the rest of that on and had it all sped up. I kind of made a decision. I don't think I'm gonna put on any highlighter. I think this is very glowy. And if I put on highlighter right now, when I go to put on my makeup and do the rest of the wear test, I fear that it will be confused. Again, the same reason I don't want to um, powder and the same reason I don't want to put on um, concealer and that kind of thing, okay? Let me show you that the product I do have left on my hand is extremely runny. I love that super thin consistency in a foundation, but if you don't, I don't know if you'll like this. I do though. Okay, so you've already seen part of a wear test and when I come back, I, I don't know how long I'll get to wear this today, that's why I'm rushing through. That's my hurry. But when we get back, we'll see how many hours I was allowed to kind of just let it ride today. Um, and by the way, while we're at it, while I'm chatting with you here, if you haven't hit subscribe, please do hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're still subscribed if you subscribed. And if you haven't, um, if you could do me that, I know that favor. I know that they recommend the videos anyway, but gosh, it's real helpful to me. <laughs> so I'd appreciate it very much. All right, let's get on with that wear test. Okay, we're back. Someone needs to take away the Isam lip and cheek palette for me. I am using it so much. So I just threw on a By Terry gloss so you didn't have to see the Isam. Again, I'm sorry. I love it. Suku eye makeup has held up beautifully. I haven't touched anything else. And I feel like when I don't wear concealer, you can usually see it. Why is it for such a light medium coverage? I'm not really missing my concealer today. Here's me at four hours in. I am inside and in a kind of a darkened area, but I wanted to just kind of show you it. That's with the Isam lip, lip color still on after lunch, worn away a little bit. And now we are, yeah, nine hours. It's Friday night. I want to take off my makeup, you guys. I want to lay around lazy and watch TV. I'm not probably going to do that. I'm going to work instead, but I would rather do that. So I'm hurrying here because I want to take off my makeup and get in some PJs. So let's take a look at what we have, shall we, together after nine hours. As I mentioned, I don't miss my concealer that much. Maybe it is medium coverage. It just feels so light. So let's see. I could definitely smooth this over right here. It definitely feels like part of my skin. The shine is kind of nice. Yesterday I did the Rose Ink review and I kind of feel like I, I, get, I was hard on it. I was hard on it. Rose Ink commented on my TikTok. Thank you for your honest review. And I felt kind of bad because they're sweethearts, but you know, I had to be honest. Um, honest review, you <laughs> know, raw, raw. But um, I feel that the natural way that the Rose Ink sits points out pores a little more. And the fact that this is a little reflective, remember we're at nine hours in, eight hours and like 50 minutes, so I have to be honest. 
Um, and um, it it's not like, I mean, maybe it is in the pores, but the fact that it's got a little bit of luminosity to it, I don't know what I'm doing there. The fact that it's got a little bit of luminosity to it um, kind of deflects from that. We are not settling into any lines, really pretty. I see my pores, but not horribly. And again, there's like kind of a dewiness that just reflects away from that. Again, no highlighter at all on my face. I do have very normal skin. If you had an oilier complexion, I would probably recommend a little bit of powder, especially around the T-zone. If you get an oily T-zone, if you powder it, you're going to be fine. I have no powder on because I didn't want to disturb it, but I also have very normal skin. It hasn't gotten oilier through the day. I have suggestions skin it can get oily if it wants to and it hasn't um, everything is just sitting beautifully I, I really think it's another winner uh, for Shiseido and their complexion products are always splendid so who needs this Shiseido product well I think it's another winner and I'll tell you who would like it those of you who don't like the feel of a lot on your face and don't like to build up product they say it's medium coverage. They might be right, because it's really doing me some favors. Look, after nine hours. But it feels like nothing. To me, it feels like a light medium coverage. And as I said, I'm really surprised that I don't have to add any sort of concealer. I mean, I think on an average, average day I would, but I don't really have to. I feel really put together. I did my makeup in like two minutes. This is the Shiseido. That's it. This is a little bit of that. I told you that Isom as blush and um, well, no longer on the lips. I did this one of my new Suku palettes gifted to me from a lovely subscriber um, on my eyes. A little bit of mascara, barely any eyeliner. I did my makeup in two minutes. I know I do that anyway, but you know, um, and I'm totally put together and fresh and the shade really probably isn't perfect. I mean, if you want to get out the door and you don't want to build up stuff and you want a medium coverage that feels like it's light medium, it feels like it's light and it's part of my skin. It's not transferring, can be powdered easily, but doesn't need to be. I'm going to give this a thumbs up for those of you who love light coverage. If you like a fuller coverage, you will be disappointed. If you tend towards serum foundations, you'll like this. I put this with the MAC. You know, there's a new MAC serum foundation that I love. This one is a little bit less dewy. Okay, so if you want a little bit a little bit more natural than that MAC. Um, I think you'll love this. I think this foundation is very pretty on me, not sinking into lines. Maybe shows my pores, but it's deflecting off of them. It's another winner from Shiseido. I do have to say, I always love their complexion products, but I'm still being honest with you. And I now need you to be honest with me. I know some of you have told me in DMs and in comments that you've ordered this for yourself. Have you tried it? Let me know. I mean, these kind of things are what make us a community and what questions can I answer for you? Tomorrow on this channel, uh, we have a concealer roundup finally coming. I'm gonna show you all the concealers um, that have been released in the past six months and coming soon, we will also have a foundation roundup. So if you can wait, before you order or purchase, it might be a good idea so we can all discuss these things or I can answer a question for you now. It doesn't matter to me. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.